you pleasure is uh, Time Booth. Time Booth. Do you know about, do you know about this guy? I know about Time Booth. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm his fan. I'm his fan. He, he batted you the other day, though. I know. He, he, I've been watching, you know what? I've been watching him for the past few months now. Yeah. I like him. I find him quite funny. Yeah. I still think, but you know, but you know what? Yeah, in all realness, mm. Time Booth, he's good on YouTube, but in, but in terms of, you know, in terms of actual boxing, he was a, he was like a journeyman, wasn't he? Yeah. Like he was a journeyman. He didn't win any fights. He didn't make any money. He was like he was basically he was like a no one in this boxing industry. And he got banned. He's on YouTube and he's getting views. You know what? Even though like he might have said this or said that about me, yeah. I can't hold anything against him because yeah. that's what he does. He's a YouTube boxing troll. But in terms of boxing, he was nothing but a journeyman, a bum, a roadman that goes out and gets paid five hundred pounds to fight and goes and gets knocked out. That's what Time Booth is. But on YouTube, I feel like he'll earn more on YouTube than he did, in, you know, in boxing. So I've got, no, I've got nothing against him. Like, he might have said this and said that about me, but it's all not true. I'm not sure what he even said. But you what did he say? He said that you, 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 you brought your, your girlfriend, who's meant to be an asylum seeker, a Turkish asylum seeker, um, broke up with you. Oh, you mean my ex-girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Well, my ex-girlfriend, for one, she's not an asylum seeker. She's got a British passport. Okay. She's got a British passport. She's got more money than what, you know, than, you know, She's got more money than he has. She, the girl's a business owner. Yeah. Um, you know, she's my ex-girlfriend. I've got, I've got nothing against her. Yeah. Me and her ended. We parted ways uh, on mutual terms. I didn't dump her and she didn't dump me. It was a mutual choice. And we both ended. You know, she, I'm not sure what she's up to now, but I've got a new girlfriend now. Yeah. Have you seen my new girlfriend? No, no. My new been. girlfriend's a 10 out of 10. Well, well, 11 out of 10. Get, Hell be, fucking yeah. Before we get there, he said she dumped you because he had that nineties haircut. But right now, you, you seem to have cut that High no, top right now. That, uh, that haircut, yeah. that was actually her choice. Um, I was with her in a barber shop, yeah. and she liked that haircut. Said, you know what? I got the haircut, but as soon as we, as soon as we ended, I was like, you know what? I need to go back to my old hair. I need a, I need a real old old D back. Yeah. So I got rid of the haircut. Now I'm just authentic me. Yeah. No add-ons. So um, but yeah, I hold nothing against her. We ended, you know, it was on mutual terms. Yeah. I can speak highly of her. The girl's yeah. a really nice girl, a good girl. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wish her all the best. So tell me about this new one now. Oh, uh, Mani girl. Is she, is she from Turkey? No, nah, Mani girl, she's, she's English. English, uh, okay. I mean, listen, I jumped in a deep. Well, I was you, on Instagram. Well, and you slid in, yeah? I slid, yeah, I slid in. Uh, so me and my ex-girlfriend, we had our last ever phone call. Yeah. And then, listen, I was feeling quite sad. I was quite down. I was on Instagram, I saw this girl's account, I was like, yo, this girl's fire. I never jump, you know. I don't I don't I don't jump in their inbox ever. I'm not, you know, I'm not a slide in the DMs kind of guy. Girls have to come into my DMs, but this girl was so hot, I was like, you know what, I have to go in there. I, you know what, I have to give it a go. And um and I messaged her and then she messaged back. I was like, yo! She what what back. did you say to her first? Uh, teach me some game. Uh, what, I'm what not, I think say? I just said hey, and then she goes, How are you? And then um, I asked her if she wants to go out and get a drink. She was like, no, but I'll come and train with you. And really? I was like, fine. And then, and then the next day, she came out the boxing gym with me. Yeah. And then, listen, I took her home and I said, listen, I'm ready to make it official with you. Well, straight away? Straight away. Well, how, what, in the first day you made it official? On the first day. What is that? It, it you about, don't know her? It took me about six or seven hours. Like, even though I didn't know her like that, I feel like we'll get to know each other as we go along. Okay. Like, I feel like we get to know them as you go along. Yeah. But from what I saw of her, you know, the first night that we spoke on the phone, we spoke for maybe four or five hours on the phone mm -hmm. on, our, on our first day. And then she came to the gym and as we drove home, it was about another four or five hours. So, you know, I didn't know her that well, but I knew that I liked her and she liked me. And I feel like that's what it takes. So it wasn't of official, official, but it was official enough for me to say, you know what, because I like you, I'm going to need to cut off all my holes. And all the holes I had, I cut them all off. You, you, you seem to be that sort of guy that um, you find someone, mm -hmm. It doesn't take long for you to like them, and when you do, you just cut off any your, every yeah, other link. Yeah, because listen, I, was, I had about, listen, I was on a roll. Mm -hmm. I had about six or seven holes I was seeing that week. I had about six, I had about six or seven holes I was seeing that week. What, did you bang all of us? No, I had six, I had six or seven holes, one for each day that I was going to see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, did you bang every one of them? I didn't week? bang any of them because of her. As soon as I met her, I cut all the other no, holes No, but up. when you, you said, did you link them? No, when? I didn't link them, yeah, I was going to link all of them on that week. Really? And you then, you know had what? them lined up? I had them lined up and then as soon as I met this guy, I was like, you know what, I made it to cut off all these girls. Yeah. And I cut everyone off. How do you cut them off? Do you message them like, listen, I've got some. Uh, I just edit them, I just don't respond to them. If they message me, I just, I just okay. didn't, I just, yeah, I just, 
I just didn't, I just didn't respond. So that's what it took, and then from then we got to know each other. Yeah. It's still early days, though. it's still early days. But you know what? I've seen her almost every day. Yeah. Like this girl, she lives about half an hour from me. Yeah. So she goes gym. She, you know, like she goes gym like me. So I go gym with her. We train. We watch some prison break every now and again. And um, no, it's going good so far. It's still early days, but what, what, one thing about girls that I've noticed. Um, let's say, for example, let's use out of ten. Okay. A four out of ten mm. on Tinder. You go into a Tinder thing, and what you see is a lot of guys messaging you. Yeah. I'm just talking about a four yeah. out of ten. They get a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah. But you just show me a picture of your one. Mm. She looks like a. My girl's a ten out of ten. We, we, we've got different ratios. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any girl in this world who's a, a ten out of ten mm. because no one is perfect today. So a seven out of ten is very strong between you and my guy. So I'll give her around a, a seven. Seven out of ten? Oh, come on. I'll, I'll go. Out, I'll go out with a six out of ten. So nah. you can see. You can see where my ratings are. My girl's are. a ten out of ten. <laughs> you mean? In my what? ratio, my girl's a ten out of ten. Okay, fair enough. Look, okay, let's let's stick with the ten out of ten. She's a ten out of ten. Um, she goes gym and everything. Do you and think also, you're the only one speaking? To on Sunday. I took her to church Do you on think Sunday. you're the only one speaking to her? What about the intention of other guys? Um, I believe I'm the only one. I'm the, you know. I spoke to her on the first day and I was like, you know what, I can make it serious now. Mm -hmm. If you want, I can give you a few weeks if you want to date, mm -hmm. you know. If you want to speak to guys, I don't mind. I can speak to girls. I've got girls. If you want to, if you want to speak to guys, then I don't mind. You can date for a few weeks and we'll see how it goes. She was like, no, like, I feel ready now. So mm -hmm. I said, I'm ready. She was, she was, she was ready. So I, I, I'm going to do nothing but... Trust her, believe her. Yeah. She is quite young. Yeah. She's, only, she? uh, she's 20 years old. Okay. I'm 27. So oh. I, there's a, there's so, a bit yeah, of an age yeah, gap. Yeah. Uh, she's been in boarding school, you know, like, you know, she's been up to boarding school. So. F oh, she's rich, rich. No, not rich. rich but she's been up to boarding school from the age of 11 to 18. Okay. So she's in university right now, you know, UCL. So she's up there in the grade. What's she studying? Uh, politics uh, and economics. Okay. So. So she's been kind of kept away from guys all of her life. So she's maybe been out in the world yeah. for maybe a year and a half to two years because she's been up in, you know, up in, she's been up in boarding school until she was 18 years old. Yeah. And now she's only 20 years old. So I've got, I've got that security in knowing that she hasn't been out there, that like she's not been a whole. What about in the boarding school? Is it a mixed boarding no, school? It was all, you know, it was all girls. All girls. Okay. All girls was born in private school. Okay. So, I, so I can trust that she's not a whole. She hasn't been out in the world. Yeah. Like most of these other girls, like yeah. you meet them and they've got a history. Yeah. They've got like fucking... 10 boyfriends that you do, and they tell me all these different stories about all these different guys and I'm like give me a break I need a girl that hasn't been out with 10 boyfriends in her life yeah. I want to be the only one from what you described would you say she um it was quite easy to get her from from your experience of trying to get girls well, was, was it easy to get her yeah like it wasn't you, you message them within a day it, you it was fast it was fast mm -hmm. It was fast, but sometimes you meet people and you gel and you click. Yeah. Sometimes you meet people and you, you, you gel and you click. Like me and her, we, like, we went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, I took her back home. And, like, we went out to eat. I took her back. I, I drove her back home. And then, you know, I think it, was, it wasn't it was easy, but it was quick. It wasn't easy. Okay. But it was quick. So um, as, does your ex know about this now? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't really. Is she messaged you? Or no, I haven't spoken to, to her. I haven't spoken to her. I haven't been on like, social media. How I am, if I, you know, if I got a girlfriend and we end, gone. I forget your name the next day. I forget, I forget your name. You know, I haven't been on Instagram. I haven't, I haven't spoken about her. I told all of my friends, unfollow her on your, you know, on your social media. I've got nothing against her, yeah. but I've got to move on with my life. Yeah. And I'm on my own lane on my own face. Listen, I forgot, listen, I forget the name. I've got nothing against her. I wish her all the best. I truly wish her all the best. I, I said to her on the phone, like, listen, with you, I think you're a hot girl and your next boyfriend's going to be a massive upgrade for me because this girl can get big time footballers and rich people and people that are doing a lot better than I'm doing. I'm just OD. So this girl can, you know, this girl's going to upgrade and I'm sure her next boyfriend's going to be a massive upgrade for me. But... Do you feel you've, you've upgraded? I think I've upgraded, yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, Sav? I've you upgraded. Do, well, Listen. Do you, do you want to see that? Can we see a picture of this new... No, new I'm going to keep it private. Yeah? I'm, I, okay. I'm, 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 <laughs> it's a lesson I've learned. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep it on the low. Yeah. I feel like in the past, I was so easy. Yeah. I was so fast to post pictures up on social media, tag them, pictures of me and her. And I feel like everyone's energy getting involved in your relationship sometimes isn't good. Yeah. 
So I do. I have posted a picture on my Instagram story once, but yeah. I'm not gonna tag her. I'm not, I'm not really yeah. yet. Like, there, there, there's one thing that um, I found quite interesting you when know, uh, when you talked about girls and when you said it, I I laughed and I enjoyed it so much how honest you are. And I even send it to my group and a few of my guys. They're similar to you, but they wouldn't admit it. Mm -hmm. And I'll say it now. You find white girls more attractive than black girls. Um, listen, I'm a sneaky about this because listen, I've been in some bullshit in the yeah. past few months. I'm not sure if you know about chaka bars and I got attacked by all these, by you know all the pro blacks. I'm not sure if you know about that. Mm, I, I heard you had they all little... came against me because my ex girlfriend's white. Yeah. So you know they all came against me because they feel like a black athlete, a black guy that does well in life, has to have a black girlfriend. Mm. But that's not how it works. You find you find different people attractive. Mm. I've had a few black girlfriends in the past. I've been seeing black girls. Mm. I was last year. Every girl that I saw last year or the year before, they were black. And last year I was seeing about two different girls and they were both black. Mm. So it's not like I've got something against them, mm. but everyone's got their own preference in life. When did you- Some, I know white girls that are only into white guys. I know white girls that are, that are, only, into, that are only into black guys. I know black guys that are only into black girls. I know black guys that are only into white girls. It doesn't, you know, it's just your preference. I like the fact that you just know who you are and you're I'm real, I'm not afraid of any of these yeah. motherfuckers. I've say what I think and what I'm attracted to is what I'm attracted to. Mm -hmm. I'm attracted to girls that are black, mm -hmm. but my past, you know, my, this might like, like my girlfriend's yeah, white, right my, my girlfriend's white, yeah. my ex-girlfriend, she was white, so. Was there a time when you decided this or have you always been attracted to white? No. My so first, my first ever girlfriend, my first, my like first ever girlfriend was black, okay. and you know a lot of girls I've been with in the past were black. I've had. Were you really attractive to them or? I was really attracted to them, yeah. but I've had experiences with black girls and with white girls. So yeah. the same way they say that white girls are going to rob you and do this, and they're going to try to trap you, and they're going to do this. I've had all of those experiences with black girls also. Yeah. My experience of black girls hasn't been fun and roses. My my experience with the black girls that I've met and that I've you know you know that I've met and I've been with are the same experiences that a guy can have with a white girl. So people like it's, it's like it's. It's more like a stereotype they have because they look at white girls and they think this white girl is going to make you get rich, she's going to have your babies, she's going to rub you, she's going to rub all your money, she's going to make you stand for papers and forms, she's going to rub you. But a black girl can also do that. An Asian girl, a Chinese girl can also do that. Any, any, like, it don't matter what colour you are, it's just in their nature as a woman, as a female. They've all got the same nature. And, you know, a lot of people there against me because I'm with a white girl, my ex girlfriend, she was white. And, you know, my recent track record shows that my recent choice of girls have been white. But why is that even history? Why is that even a subject? Like, why is it a subject? What, why, what does that mean? You've got, I, I look at Lawrence, I look at Lawrence O'Coley. He's with Miss Banks and she's black. And I've got a girlfriend, she's white. What the fuck does it matter? It's like the world we live in is mental. All these, all these, all these people and they call themselves pro-blacks. And they're angry because a black guy's got a white girlfriend. I'm like, don't be angry because a black guy's got a white girlfriend. They've also got black guys that will have you as a girlfriend. If you're not online complaining every day and you focus on yourself and you focus on your career and on bettering yourself, then you might get a man that you want. But don't moan because the man that you want is with a white girl. It's fucking crazy. Like, how old are you? It's about like you're 10 years old. Grow the fuck up. Would, um, would you say um, being around Essex helped you influence the way you... <laughs> listen, that's what, listen, that's what many people say. A lot of, like, you know what they say? They say I've been hanging around people like Arj and around Joey Essex. A bit too much. I've been, you know, they say that I've been hanging around a bit too many white people. And that's why I'm into white girls. I don't fucking know. I'm into black girls as well. But my recent check record shows that I'm into white girls. I don't know if it's who I've been hanging around. I'm, I, I don't know. What are you trying to imply? Are you trying to imply that me hanging around white people's? No, 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 no. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm just, you know, like you said, a lot of people said a lot of guys that yeah. that they get a little bit of clout. Yeah. They suddenly turn the black on, back yeah. on black girls. You know what they say? They say that a black guy gets rich and gets big in this field and becomes a success, mm -hmm. and then he gets a white girl and he forgets all his black girls. But That's to what they be say. honest with you, it's not just clout. All over, especially in North London. Uh, Thing um, where I'm from, I see a lot of black guys with, with white girls now. A so lot. why is it? Why is that? I, I have no idea. That's what I was trying to. But then you might also say that you see a lot of white girls that have got black guys. So why don't you go and ask the white girls? Why is it always the black guy getting shit for it? Why don't you go and ask the white girls? Yeah, but you still have a lot of white girls with white guys. Is 
They, it, it, it's not, it's not as obvious as a black girl being with a... I think I mean, people, a I feel like a, a lot of the girl. pro-blacks are just racist and they hate people that are white. They hate, like, they hate, you know, like, you know, they hate people that are white. You've also got people that are white that are also racist. They hate people that are black. With me, I'm not involved. I don't care about any of this pro-black bullshit. Yeah. Any of this pro-white bullshit. It's all bullshit. I believe you be with whoever you want to be with. Like, they got out of Floyd a few days ago because he was buying Gucci. Like, and Gucci's made by a white man. And they were attacking Floyd and they were getting onto Floyd and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, listen, man. I, I don't know the history about that. I think something about Gucci did racist. The only way I'm going to make them happy yeah. is if I get a black girlfriend. Well, I'll, I'll say this to you. You have to go walk. You're attracted because you have to go with you what you're attracted to. And you I met can't my ex, force yourself I, I met, to be with someone. You I met know. my ex girlfriend and I was attracted to her. And I met my current girlfriend and I'm even more. And I, you know what? And I'm even more attracted to her. So you know what? I want this one to be my last. Even though it's still early days, I'm not looking. You know, my I, I I I usually get with girls. It lasts about two, three, four months, and then I move on. Right, with this one, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna settle down and I'm gonna you know I'm well, gonna be a good guy. To be fair, with your last one, with how you was posted up and everything on Instagram. He looked as if you guys were going to last longer than you did. So I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm a pessimist. Nah, looks pessimist are deceiving. Financial. Looks are yeah. deceiving. Mm. My last relationship, it was good. Mm-hmm. We yeah. was both happy. But I don't know. I think I can. I, I knew it wasn't really going to last that long. I knew it wasn't really going to last that long. So you Even just, while I was you just in enjoyed it. it while I enjoyed it. And I feel like life is about enjoying. We're here for a good time, not a long time. It's about enjoying it. I've never been public before. I've never had a girlfriend and gone public. And that's an experience that I wanted to have. I've always wanted to get a girlfriend and, and go public, post her, become like an Instagram couple. I've always wanted that experience. And I feel like with her, that's an experience that I had. But I've learned from it that that experience isn't always good. Which is why now I'm keeping it on the deal a bit. I feel like people might know who she is because I might tag her every now and again on my Instagram story, but I'm not going to go as public. You know, well, this is my girlfriend. Look at her. This is my girlfriend. Have you, I know it's just a short time now. Have you met her parents yet? Yeah, I met her mum. Oh, really? Only yesterday I met her dad. Really? Yeah. How, how were they? Early days. How were they? Her mum's fine. It was, it was easy to meet her mum, but it's yeah. more about meeting her dad, you know. So I was in a, you know, I was in the front room watching some prison break in the front yeah. room, and then he came in. I was like, shit. I was like, yeah, my name's Ahara. Blah, blah. He was like, cool. Like, you know, he's... You know, like he used to into boxing, he used to into boxing, and um, you know we had a chat for about three or four minutes. But my heart was like. <laughs> but after he left, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I think that was good. Okay. Well, you're interested to see how this one goes. You listen, say it's gonna last long. Listen, this I'll one's be, listen. This one's gonna last, and I feel okay. like I'm gonna keep it off of that. You know, I'm gonna keep it off of that social media, and just focus on my boxing. Um, yeah. See, it's, but when I've seen your past and everything, the pictures I've seen of all the past. They they get a proper good tip. Of, you you are, you class them as pengers, pengs. What do you class them as peng? What do you class them as peng? That's what I'm saying. You oh. that's what I'm saying. That's what I've seen. You it seems like one of the main one of the criteria you go for is uh, looks. the looks. The Listen, looks. I feel like looks is the initial attraction. I, yeah. I'm an athlete. I work hard every day. I wake up. I go to the gym. I work hard. Yeah. I can't have a girl that's a a two out of ten. I need a hot girl. The same way that a successful man needs a nice car, he, he you know, he, like, he wants to dress nice, he wants to look nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with a successful man or a semi-successful man having a nice girlfriend. Like, so the, like looks come first, and the first thing that you come next, you know, like they have to look good ultimately, and then you, then, you know, and then you look at how you get on and stuff like that. But they have to be hot. So that initial attraction isn't there. I'm not going to be driving, you know, like a what are they called the old cars. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not. Like your old car, what was your old car? Was uh, it red? Uh, the Peugeot 206. Yes. Even like, though you say you missed it. That's what I could afford at the time, but yeah. now I can afford the Audi A5, so I bought the Audi A5. The same way, now I can, you know, I can, I can get a 10 out of 10 girl, I've got a 10 out of 10 girl. So when you do like your, <laughs> your 400 meters, how many sets of that 400 meters do you do? Uh, I've done it the other day, I've done six sets. So when you, after you finish doing the six sets, or midway through in that thing, you're thinking, I'm not working all this hard. Just to end up with a three out of ten. I'm not working to start to end up with a three out of ten. No way. Yeah, okay. A few years ago, yeah, like you know, a bit before I got into boxing, yeah. The same way a girl looks at a guy and girls like, you know what? I'm not one of them. Like my girl, she's up in university now, so this girl's a really smart girl. The last thing she wants is a guy that's from the hood, that's not doing anything in life. The girl wants a focused guy, a guy, that, a guy that's got ambition, a career, and that's me. And I want a girl that looks good and I get on with, and that's her. And I feel like we, you know, you have to, you have to 
tick each other's boxes. And I feel like that's how life is. There ain't no girl that wants a bum. I was a bum before. I couldn't get no girls. None. I was on job seekers allowance, getting a bus every day to and from, the, you know, like the gym. I couldn't get no girls. None. So I feel like it's just life. A lot of people, they come online and they want to, you know, and they don't really want to say it because they're afraid. Yeah. But I say this shit. I know what, you know what we do? I'll come back to you in um, three months' time. We'll find out if you're still with this one. Come back to me in three years. The girl got still be here. I'll come back to you in three months. We do three <laughs> months. We'll see. Yeah. It's an Abba Q7. From from what you've just said, Sab, <laughs> Sab, from what you've just said, you think this one is gonna last? You just met her like a. I'll, about... I'll be honest with you, I haven't been paying attention. Okay, all right. What but about it's, you? It's nice to hear. I'm not involved. You're not it's, involved. It's nice to hear OD speak. <laughs> you just let him do what he does. It's <laughs> nice to hear OD. Listen, okay. it's nice to hear OD speak because he yeah. speaks from the heart. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, there's no no strings attached. He, he, what you see is what you get with OD. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We'll come back in three months to see if you with this. Uh, come back in three years, you're gonna still be with, here. with this ten out of ten. I might have a ring though in about three years. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Odie, pleasure.